Either words, Mike Martin's here, Mike Martin's channel. Thanks for joining me for another rant and lifestyle housing market discussion. I want to rant a bit, a little bit on the housing market. Um, it kind of, I'm kind of off when I read that article the other day about ordinary Canadians are being bought out of the market, uh, selling selling condos and stuff in, in in China, and ordinary Canadians can never afford anything, and blah blah blah, and. And Canadian proper is being bought out left, right, and center, and futures are being bought out, and no one has a chance to just to to make it. You know, kids, grandkids have been already sold out. Now, I was asked a question the other day, and it was a really good one, actually. If the housing market does go for a crash, how much percentage do I think it would drop? And that was asked for me by several people from all over, from Detroit, from God, from everywhere. People are just kind of asking, because there's a lot of people on the sidelines watching this, not to buy, but there's a lot of people in cities like Michigan, like uh, 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 someone that watches me in Michigan, someone in Texas that watches me, a couple other people in New Zealand that watch me, and they just, they're just watching the sidelines, so what's going to happen? This is huge. This is like the, the powder keg, you know what I'm saying, ready to go off. So anyways, anyways, so people are asking me, what do I think? So... In all fairness, this is what I think, and I'm going to tell you how I feel. I did a bit of mathematics. I got a, a, a paper towel or some sorts, and I was doing a bit of mathematics, looking at inflation and just looking at different numbers. In the last 10 years, uh, wages have been completely stagnant. People haven't been making more, but the, co the, the price, the cost of living has been going up, but interest rates have been going down to offset the cost of borrowing. Now, what I'm thinking is happening, what I think will happen if there is a crash, the homes in Vancouver area, Burnaby, all those areas, they need to go down about 70% value for the Canadian proper to be able to afford to buy back into the market. 70. Yes. So if a house is a million dollars, it needs to go down to 200,000. And that's reasonable. If the house is $2 million, it needs to go down to 400,000. And that's a reasonable price for that house. For the Canadian proper to buy in. Because ever since that article was written saying that the Canadian Canadian can never even afford their own property, it's true. Because we've sold all our jobs overseas, and now they're coming back and buying us out with a vengeance with the wealth they've created. It's very simple. I mean, it doesn't take a, a guy that, that works that sends rockets to the moon to figure out what's going on. But it's it's breaking me that that's now our kids and grandkids are completely sold out. If we don't play our cards right now, we got to play the cards right now. When we're in a position right now. You know, people are working three jobs, 70... So the typical... Port, in Portland, remember that article from Trends in the Housing Market from last night? I read an article that a guy, a guy working minimum wage in Portland, even if he works 72 hours a week, he still can't afford a one-bedroom apartment to rent. That sucks. That's huge. Anyways, guys, I want to know what you guys think about this. I want you guys to weigh in, especially what's happening in Australia. Australia, they're now rumored that rates are going to go up again and rates are going to go up strong. They have to. Australia has no choice but to raise rates because they have no economy anymore. Their mining is in the pits. Everything at it, mining is in the pits. But their mining is in the pits. Everything is falling apart there. Same thing with New Zealand with all these meth-contaminated homes. It's out of control. You know what I'm saying? Just throw it on the couch. Throw it on the couch. It's hot. All right, bud. Anyways, oh, Clayton's coming. Yeah. It's right there, it's Clayton. Anyways, guys, I want to know what you guys think about this. I think, man, this is like crazy. So I think in London, London homes need to drop about, hi Mo, 60% for the London proper or UK proper to afford. Uh, Australia, 85%. Yeah. That much for the Australian proper to buy in back into the market. Huge numbers. A couple of politicians got rich off this, but their kids and grandkids are completely bought out. I want to know what you guys think. Comment below. Hey, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Comment below. Weigh in. Thanks for watching.